Is... Is tomorrow finally here? That would be awesome! Oh, right. Do you have any idea how to remove this dumb thingy? It's kind of stuck. Uh, Sans? Are, are you listening to me? Oh. I see. Yeah. Yeah. It, it is that a friend of yours, Sans? Sans? Why? Why aren't you saying anything? Yes, this could work. Bring him back to the lab for further testing. Yes, Doctor. I'll do as you say. All right, I'll be on my way. <laughs> Time to die, little bone boy. off my brother very much, Miss BBC. Miss Blue Bell Cat, come over here this instant. Uh, yes, Professor Guest. What the heck are you thinking, Miss Bell Cat? Are you insane? I am sorry, Professor. As a doctor, I, I can't just watch and wait until someone is hurt. I have to help. Miss Bell Cat, the fallen one shouldn't be allowed in the room to roam freely here. He could attack and infect other patients. What? There, there's a, there's a fallen one. Here? Um, hi, hi there, Sans. Miss BBC, is it true? Is, is there a fallen one here? Are, are we in danger? Do we flee now? Shall I carry Papyrus? Sans, what? Oh no, you haven't noticed. Hmm. Professor Gaster! Interesting. It seems like he's still on stage one. 
You are a polite and well-behaved child, aren't you, Sad? Um, I guess so, sir. May I peek at your soul? Will it be painful, sir? No, it won't hurt. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it won't be much time until you're on stage two. <sighs> oh, I pray it wasn't so. What? What? What are you talking about, sir? And, and why does my soul look like that? And what? <laughs> Red eyes and sh red magic, sharp claws and sharp fangs, the distinctive features of a monster infected with the currently incurable love virus, a so-called fallen one. Every fallen one will suffer through the same five stages of the infection. First stage, a drastic change in their appearance in the magic color. Second stage, a drastic change of their personality into something truly mean-spirited and cruel. The third stage, loss of their sanity for a relatively short amount of time and increased prosperity of, to murder and violence. Fourth stage, degeneration of their sanity until they are a ruthless killer who can't differentiate between friend and foe anymore. And finally, the fifth stage, the last stage, the love virus crushes the soul of the fallen one. Death. No, no, no. Let's get him. Sans can't teleport very far. Yes, Professor. I am not a fallen one. I am not. I'll, I'll prove it. I'll prove it. Sans? Sans, calm down, please! I just want to help you! Let me see your face, Sans! Sans, hold still, let me see your face! Oh no. Sans, I am terribly sorry. I should have told you sooner about this. You can't have softened or removed the effects of the virus. The virus will manipulate your magic and force it to undo all the attempts to exclude it from taking it away. It will prevent any further attempts. You won't be able to remove that tooth anymore. The fact that the virus is already strong enough at such an early stage tells me that you've, you've dusted someone before. It's better to check your brother's soul, too, since he's with you most of the time. Let's hope that the virus wasn't able to reach his soul. Oh no. Papyrus! Hug, let go of me! You stupid- <gasps> Did I- Did I just swear? Yes. Yes you did, Sans. You're on the second stage of the infection now. Your personality is starting to change. No! 
I don't want to change. I don't want to. Please. Sans, it may already be impossible for me to help you, but I could try to something for your brother's soul. But I need your help for that. My help? Yes. But first, I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to help your brother's soul. Miss Bellcat? Could you please bring me one of your marvelous self-made praise trees from the rec room? Oh, uh, yes, Professor. I'll be right back. There you go, Professor. Thank you much, very much, my dear. Sans catch. Uh, a custard-filled croissants? Hmm. <clears throat> Someone should teach you proper table manners. Can you feel it, Sans? The satisfying sensation of food magic doing wonders on your body and mind. I've extracted this feeling and turned it into a usable form. The power to heal every wound. The power to live through another day. The power to feel be better after a lot of pain. I call this power hope. And I have a feeling that hope is exactly what your brother needs to fight off this infection. Sadly, I have to direct it, inject this directly into his soul. This will be an excruciating process for him. I need your help to distract the pirate from pain and pull through him through everything. Can I count on you, Sans? <sighs> okay. I'll do anything to save my little bro. I'm glad to see that you are cooperating, Sans. This will make everything easier. Miss Bell, this process will need every ounce of my concentration. Any unwanted distractions could endanger Pyrus' souls. Please leave the room. Uh, of course, Professor. I shall do that. Good, good luck. Thank you. Sans, please go to the other side of the bed. You so you won't have to turn your brother won't have to turn his head to look at you. Out of my way, geezer. Hang in there, bro. Take a seat, Sans. This will take a while. Very well. Like I already mentioned, this process will be very painful for your brother. His soul will want to fight off the pain. And soon as that happens, the love virus will react and speed up the infection. We have to prevent this from happening at all costs. Hope needs hope and trust to become stronger and fight the infection. It's very important you distract your brother from pain and give him as much hope as, and trust as monsterly possible. I have the hope to inject at the proper speed. If rushed, the virus soul and the virus will notice and eliminate it. It's understandable if this is a bit too much for you, Sans. You can still say no to this and your brother can meet the same fate as you. As long as there is a chance I won't give up trying, Let's do it. Hey, uh, how come you know all this stuff? Because this is not the first time I'm helping someone. Good to see you. Yeah, good, good to see you too. Why, why do you look so mean? Is, is, is that makeup? It, it looks really lifelike. Yes, bro. This is just scary makeup. And 
impressive. It was really weird that Fresh went away like that. It was like he was terribly scared of something or someone. Uh huh. Is that a papyrus? Papyrus! Papyrus! Please don't fall asleep, bro. Please don't fall asleep. <laughs>